There are a lot of those, those influences, the noir, the thriller, that you've been exploring recently, Le Cirque Rouge and, and Eyes Without a Face, Nightmare Alley, the films that you've curated for AFI Fest. Um, can you talk about that? Tell us about those influences. Yo creo que eh, el melodrama, el musical y han sido géneros, digamos, de juventud y, y he llegado a, a el noir y al western en mi madurez. Yes, I really feel like melodrama and the musical were genres of my youth and that I've really arrived to the noir and even the western now in my more mature age. No sé por qué, eh, supongo que decir, es un modo de mi del supongo que es un modo de de hacerte mayor o de o de tener más comprensión de de la vida y de la vida tal cual se cuenta en en los thrillers y en los noir. Yeah, I, I don't really know exactly what it has to do with with it, but it has something to do with growing older and recognizing something in the noirs and the thrillers about growing up. No quiero decir que mi punto de vista sea tan pesimista como que solo me identifique con los noirs y con las tragedias. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to suggest that my point of view is so pessimistic that I only identify with noirs or the tragedies. Pero lo que sí es cierto es que es el género que más me conmueve. But what is true is that it is the genre that moves me the most. Y para mí el, el noir es una especie de prolongación del melodrama. And for me, noir is actually a continuation of melodrama. Y de hecho, eh, lo que más veo es lo que más veo últimamente. Por eso he elegido cuatro tipos de noir o thrillers eh, para para que se pongan en el festival. And in fact, it's what I watch the most now, which is why I've picked these four very different thrillers or noirs to watch. Y la idea, lo que me parece maravilloso, es que eh, los jóvenes espectadores del festival tengan la oportunidad de ver en una pantalla grande, en una pantalla que es mayor que cualquier mueble de su salón de estar, eh, películas como las cuatro que, que he seleccionado. And what I do think is wonderful is that the young spectators get the chance to watch on the big screen these films um, that would otherwise be projected in much, much smaller formats or television screens at home. I mean, if I think in myself, just watching for the first time uh, Le Cercle Rouge, for example, by Melville, oh my God, I, yesterday I almost, I almost sat down and watched it again because, oh, it's such a big experience. So that's why I'm so moved here because uh, we're talking in one big theater with people that are going to watch uh, a movie. I mean, one of my movies, any movie, in one big screen. Because, I mean, perhaps I'm very old-fashioned and very nostalgic, but movies supposed to be, like, bigger than your furniture. And, <laughs> yeah, and... <laughs> of, of course, yeah, you know, this is one director telling you this. But the capacity of hypnosis that movies and the storytelling has, I mean, needs that kind of... I mean, a big screen. So, um, so I always celebrate, you know, the chances to see movies in theaters. And thank you very much for that. Oh.